You can go to Yemen and you can buy camel piss. It is sold on the shelves of supermarkets. <laughs> In Saudi Arabia, they do the same. That's what the, the, the place looked like. Where, Where does it say look? The man was traveling Notice, ladies and gentlemen, that the Muslim Dawah team member has to help his God out of a difficulty. Hey! In your Bible, it says on Mark 16 that you can drink poison and survive. Do you reject that verse in your Bible? La ilaha illallah. So who is the pagan? Muhammad Rasulullah. <laughs> <laughs>Brother's saying um, if he used the Talmud or the Gospel of Barnabas, would that be fair? And I said, no, they're not authoritative. And then he said, well, is it fair of me to quote hadiths that he says a week uh, on the basis uh, to, to talk about Muhammad instructing people to drink camel milk and urine? So answer that question directly. The fact of the matter is, these hadiths were co collected together by Muslims. They were, one Muslim. second, allow me to give my answer. They were collected together by Muslims. They've been categorized by Muslims with regards to different strengths. And some of those that I quoted were Sahih, some were Hassan, and some were Daif. Now, are you saying that you don't have any problems with the ones that were, ha were Sahih? I'm saying they're weak hadiths. All of them? Yeah, all the ones Including that you cited. Including Sahih? All the ones you've cited. Sahih is weak, they apparently. Weak, they are weak hadiths. Yeah. And the majority of Muslims yeah, in the world, yeah. they don't practice that part of the hadith because it's weak. Yeah, and so it's you, weak. you'll find you'll find only a small minority in Saudi Arabia that do practice that, and a small minority. Right. So, 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 my, so just to be clear, to, to when we when we talked about um, a fly falling into someone's drink and Muhammad saying dip it into your drink. I'll just give you the, the full narration again. Narrated by Abu Hurara. The Prophet said, if a housefly falls in the drink of any one of you, he should dip it in the drink and take it out. For one of its wings has a disease and the other has the cure for the disease. And that is Sahi al-Bukhari. Not Daif al-Bukhari, Sahi al-Bukhari. So now let me ask you, and that's uh, just for those that want to go and look at the reference, it's 3320. So now let me ask you, do you honestly believe, the man behind the camera, that a fly contains the cure for its diseases under its wing? Tommy Robinson. Uh, well, first of all, we're not talking about that. We're we'll talking about another subject, but I will quickly entertain it. Uh, if you look at the fly itself, it has two beaks. One of them uh, sucks the finger in, the poison, gives the poison to release it, and the other one sucks it out. Yes. So the fly can possibly have uh, the cure and the disease at the same time. Right. So if, he, if he's pointing that out to dip it in, so it, possibly he could have it. So, I, but to be honest, Bob, I'm not an expert in that hadith, yeah, and I'm not a scientist to know about the hadith what it meant by dipping it in, right? Can you, Bob, can we're you, not talking about that. We're talking about the, the authenticity. Yeah. Of exactly, the hadith that you exactly. quoted last that time. That was one that I quoted last time. So we are talking you, about talking, the same no, topic. No, no, Bob, you are talking about we are talking camel about piss. The same topic. And you, uh, camel piss. No, I talked about and uh, and, and uh, uh, milk. And I'm saying that that hadith that you quoted were weak. And I'm saying, would it be fair, Bob, if I was to use the Talmud as a reference point for Jesus? And you said no. So how is it fair on you to use a weak hadith when the majority of Muslims don't use it, Bob? Right, so, so why do you allow do that, me to Bob? address that point? Firstly, we are talking about the same topic. The to the, 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 I, I was talking about the unhygienic drinking habits of Muhammad. And I gave a number of evidences for why Muhammad was essentially giving bad advice. And if he was giving bad advice, then he isn't giving good advice. And if he's not giving good advice, he's not a good example. And if he's not a good example, he's not the prophet you're claiming to be. Go live, bro. Now, you go live. I quoted a Sahih one. And you have honestly tried to stand there and defend the idea 
that a fly contains the cure for its own and diseases. Again, Bob, we're not, we're no, not, no, we're not discussing. I know you're that uncomfortable. Right now. We're I know you're uncomfortable no, no, with your with the It's because I'm not. A, it's I'm all, not an expert in that part. I, of the I, I am going to. I'm going to come to the point. Honestly, give you an why answer. Why is it you? Why is it you never want because to let me speak Bob, without Bob, interruption? Bob, you did this last time. I haven't, I haven't, you must have learned by now this, I that I am not this, someone that is Bob, simply Bob, going to be rushed over. If you speak to someone like Mansoor about this, this will continue to make the point that I make. Do you want to know? Is that fair? Is that fair for you to ask me or something? So, I'm not aware so of. Bobby, Bob, I would Bob, challenge you. Bob, Bob, no, Bob, I would challenge Bob, you. Hello, Bob, sorry. Bob, I would challenge Bob, you. Can you honestly what tell me? Health honestly authority in the world argues that the way to cure the diseases of a fly is to dip the fly in the drink because the fly holds the cure to its own diseases. Absolutely. What world of health authority? Now you talked about camel piss and you said it's daif. You said most, most Muslims don't do that. But in that is an admission that some Muslims do do that. Which means that not all Muslims agree that this hadith is weak. Some Muslims actually think that this is good advice. You can go to Yemen and you can buy camel piss. It is sold on the shelves of supermarkets. In Saudi Arabia, they do the same. So that means the heart of Islam the central point of Islam believes that this hadith is practicable. But do all of them buy it, Bob? Do all of them drink it, Bob? No. Do some of them drink it? <laughs> some do, some, some don't. Some do, yeah. some don't. Which Just means like this. Christianity, which means Bob, this. Bob, Bob, your whole argument. Isn't there a fact in Christianity? Your whole argument Bob, Bob, is based on Bob, the idea Bob, that the hadith Bob, is weak. Hello, Bob. The fact of Bob, the matter is that Bob, not all Muslims agree with Bob, you. Isn't Address that point, Bob, please. Isn't there a fact? Some Address that Christians. Point. Some Christians uh, like to worship Mary and some Christians don't. Some Christians worship Mary Magdalene and some Christians don't. Okay, no, so, no. so let's press that point. Wait, listen to the Aztecs. What are the Aztecs when they converted to Christianity? How did they convert? How did they convert? It's not a deflection. They, they only converted because of some hearsay story. Uh, because of a hearsay story, that's why they converted. And don't they every year can you defend your on, their, on, their, on, their, on their crawl on their knees for this painting? You can't no. defend your prophet. Do you do that? You can't you defend do that, your prophet. Right. Do you do that? You so don't. Let me, let me address so no, this point. No, 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 I am defending. So let me address this point. No, no, no. Bob, oh, wait, wait. I'm addressing it because you came Bob, to me saying you wanted to talk Mary, about some camel oh, piss. Some Christians That's what you worship, wanted to talk about. Some Christians you said that. worship Mary Magdalene. So you said that. that. Like you in France, said that. In France, you said that. Have, they have many you are, you are totally cults. trying to change the topic. Totally trying to change the topic. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You. The reason why? Let's just let's just remind ourselves. Let's just yes. Let's the foreskin, the foreskin of brother. Jesus. You don't know about this. He came to me wanting to talk about the hadiths and about camel pits and the fact that and the fact that Muslims in Saudi Arabia and Yemen drink camel piss no, no, as a cure no, no, no. to muscle ailments because of the hadith that I'm about to quote. And he's saying, oh no, it's unfair of you to point that out because Muslims say that it's a weak hadith. But the fact of the matter is, he exposes why his own material is not reliable. Because Muslims themselves can't agree about whether it's trustworthy or not. You have some Muslims drinking camel piss because they think it is a cure to stomach ailments and you have other Muslims saying no, we don't drink it because the hadith is unreliable. In other words, Muslims can't agree. And why? Wait, let's, let's, just, let's just remind ourselves what this so-called great prophet of Islam, this so-called guidance to mankind, this so-called best example to everyone, actually said. It was narrated that Anas bin Malik narrated that some people from Ukil came to the messenger of Allah and spoke about Islam. They said, O Messenger of Allah, we are nomads who follow the herds, not farmers and growers. 
and the climate of Al Medina does not suit us. So the Messenger of Allah told them to go out to a flock of female camels and drink their milk and urine. Weak hadith. Weak now he says it's a weak, a weak hadith. hadith. Yeah. So explain to me why do Muslims in Saudi Arabia and Yemen sell camel piss on the shelves of supermarkets as a cure for stomach ailments? Answer me that. Maybe it's apple juice. Go on, genius. I don't know. I don't have an answer. He doesn't why. know. Hey. He doesn't know. Hey. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's why. because the argument why. that this is a weak finished. hadith why. is a fallacious why. argument. And it exposes the fact that the idea of using hadith, hadith as a source of knowledge is completely bogus. Muslims don't agree about their hadiths. Sunni and Shia don't agree about their hadiths. And if Muslims cannot agree upon something so fundamental, how can it be used as a source of knowledge? Now watch him try to change the subject. Watch him now try to change the subject because he is embarrassed by his embarrassing prophet. So, deal with the camel piss. You've got the quote. The camel piss, deal with it. Right. And again, Bob, I asked you, would it be fair to use the Talmud as a reference point for Jesus? You said no. And again, you are using a weak hadith. What is wrong with you, Bob? Why do you why do you keep on using these weak hadith as a reference point for Islam? When majority of Muslims don't practice this stuff. You go to other countries in the world, you don't find this stuff. You you say, Bob, you say that you can find this camel piss. I haven't seen it anywhere. Now we're, we're gonna have to only take your word for it, Bob. And if your puppeteers want to take your word for it, that's their business. Apparently, but ladies you and now, gentlemen, Bob, you're all my that's puppeteers. The, that's, hey! Bob, Bob, it's all a lie. But Bob, Bob, don't you? I asked you, to, why do Christians worship Lady Mary Magdalene? Yeah, Lady of Guadalupe. Yeah, most of the Aztec, uh, Aztec people converted on a hearsay. On a hearsay, Bob. And they do this every year, they worship a painting of Mary Magdalene. Do you do that, Bob? Bob, so, do you do that? He asked, Bob, he asked the question. Do you do that? I'm asking you a question. He asked the question. Do you worship Mary Magdalene? He asked the question. No. Don't, don't no. get distracted. That's what some Christians do. Some you asked Christians the question yeah. about whether Christians you might find some stupid worship Christians so Mary Magdalene. Yeah, he asked this. No Christian worships Mary Magdalene. Well, we have it. No Christian we have worships it. Mary Magdalene. We have Magdalene. it. There you go. Lying. Furthermore, furthermore. He seeks to change the subject because he finds in the Mexico, example in Mexico, of his prophet. In Mexico, they worship Mary Magdalene. Mary of in Guadalupe Mary is Mexico, Mary the Hello. Virgin Mary, they're, not they're Mary Magdalene. Oh, what is that? No, he's worship. changing the subject. Worship. And I'll worship. tell you why he's changing the subject. They're worshiping the subject, he's changing the the subject in because he's embarrassed Hello. by his prophet. You're embarrassed by these things that's going on. But let's look at some other embarrassing hadiths. What about the fourth thing? Let's look at some other what about the holy foreskin? Bob, what about the holy foreskin? Narrated by Bob, Saeed. What about the holy foreskin? Bob, he the holy foreskin. Seven Bob, the holy foreskin. Every morning, the order of Jesus foreskin. Be affected the order of Jesus foreskin. What about that? The magic that, but on the day Bob, he eats them. Bob, so what about the order eating of dates is a Bob, cure for poison. Bob, really? Really? Wow. So if I How give you seven dates, dates... How many dates? Seven. Seven, dates. seven yes. dates. So seven Brother dates. Muhammad thinks, if I give you seven dates, you will be immune to cyanide. Hey! Do you want to take hey! Muhammad's bet? Hey! Who, who's, who's ready to and that, test by that. the way, <laughs> is Sahid. Wait. Sahi Al Bukhari, five four four five. You call Sahi. You call Do you want to take Muhammad's Bob, bet? Bob, I'll give you Bob, seven Bob, okay, to this. and Bob, a capsule okay, of cyanide, okay, Bob, and let's see if okay, you survive. Bob, Bob, you call to the hadith, not from the Quran. In your Bible, it says if you have the Holy Spirit and you could drink poison and speak in foreign tongues, do you have the Holy Spirit in you, Bob? No, shut it. So now, book of Proverbs. Book of Proverbs. A reference from Mark. 
He Mark, quotes a reference Mark, from Mark. Speak, I have a but True Christian Scholars tells you again the text is an addition to the text. Of poverty. Christians do not believe this. Those that know the book of their text. It tells you this. If you're, Furthermore, if you're Sahih al Bukhari, 5779. Five, 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 I heard Allah's five, messenger saying, five, Who takes five, five, seven Ajwa dates in the morning will five, not be affected by magic or poison on that day. <laughs> so Muhammad thinks that eating dates is a cure to poison. What had he got no. you quoting, Bob? Sahih Al Bukhari. <laughs> was that from the Quran? Five, seven, 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 nine. Oh, Bob, Sahih Was that from the Quran? Al Bukhari. I quoted no. five, four, four, five. From the Bible. Oh, Those are your you references. The Holy you, you can speak in foreign tongues. Now he says, speak to me it's from not the Quran. Speak to me in foreign tongues. I think I've You're converted him yeah. to Quran only Islam. The Quran only Islam. Bob, he doesn't Bob. believe the hadiths when the hadiths Bob. are embarrassing to Bob. him. Bob. He doesn't believe them. Bob, your Bible Do you says believe them? The Holy Spirit, that's that's that. Do you, you believe poison? them? Can you drink poison? Do and you believe Bob? them? Bob, can you drink poison and survive? I don't believe them. In the Bible, he says it. In the Bible, he says it. That's the extension in your Bible. The of Mark, it was a later edition. We don't oh, believe it. So, based in your Bible, though. So, so he's telling me that's a so, false false document. So, now I'm in your book. My document is a man. Bob, do you believe your hadiths? Do you believe your hadiths? Is that a false document? Do you believe your hadiths? Bob. Is that false document? Do in you Bible? believe your hadith? The word of God. Is that false document? Do you the believe your hadith? Bob. Do you? Is that a false okay. document? In your he Bible? doesn't want to answer the question. Bob. Answer Proverbs. So, he tells you he doesn't want to answer the question because his prophet is embarrassing to him. Repression. And he's just Bob. making noise Bob. because he doesn't want to deal with, with your the Bible. embarrassing Bible. text. Bob. No, yes, you Bob. came to me saying you wanted Bible. to talk about your hadith. It's in your Bible, it's on record. Bob, why is that chapter in your Bible? Very early. Bob, you were you here from the beginning? Why is that chapter in your Bible? Akuma, you were here from the beginning. Yes, did he come to me talk, saying he wanted to talk about hadith yes, or Bible? Did. Yes, he did. Bob, yes, he did. He wanted he to talk like about he hadith. Yes, yes, and yes, now yes, he's yes, embarrassed yes, by yes, his hadith. He wants to change the subject. I don't blame him. Muhammad was embarrassing. That's very yes. much. Very a man good. that tells Bob, you that Bob. dates is a cure to poison <laughs> and that camel piss Bob, Bob, is a cure Bob. to stomachache oh and tells you Bob. that a woman and should again. suckle a okay. strange okay. man yeah. on her and breast and 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 to oh. adopt him yeah. is yeah. embarrassing. But, 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 He's, here's he's the gone. thing, he's gone. He's gone. when the hadith suit him, yeah. he wants yeah. to use them. Yeah. When the hadith embarrass him, he, he wants to ignore, ignore the hadith. Hello. Listen Hello. carefully. Bob. Bob. Listen carefully. He says, that's not, that's not an actual account of what he just said. What is it doing in the Bible? Narrated by Said, Allah's messenger said, He who eats seven Ajwa dates every morning will not be affected by poison or magic. That's what his prophet says. In other words, if we believe his prophet, I can give you seven Ajwa dates in the morning. Bob, and a cyanide Bob, pill Bob, in the Bob, afternoon Bob, and you yeah, will be yeah, safe. Yeah, <laughs> Does he want to take his sahih hadith seriously? No! He wants to say this is Your not in the Quran! Except that! Except that! Islam uses hadith! That or Sahih and the Quran together. He can't ignore them. He can't ignore them. And the Hadith that I have just quoted is a Sahih Hadith. Sahih. So let me ask any Muslim. Did he do that? Will you take Muhammad's the Holy Ghost? 
Will you let me Bob, give you the Holy Ghost and you to the in the morning, the morning a horse, and then a cyanide Bob, pill Bob, in the afternoon? Bob, do you believe the words Bob, of your father? If you are stupid, no, prophet, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. And the reason why you don't. Your God it's says, because your God you is are better educated is than your prophet. You, you are, are better educated the than the man heretic. who claims to have a direct line to God. You are a heretic, Bob. You, you are a you are heretic, Bob. You you are better teaching of your Bible than your homies. Bob, you are a heretic. Here's what else we have you said. Abu Sayyid Al Qudari narrated. Your Bible has it was said, O Allah's messengers, shall we use the water of Bud Allah as well to for perform ablutions while it is a well in which there are menstrual flesh of dog Bob, Bob and the putrid of dumb Bible. Wait, putrid is human feces Allah's messenger said indeed Water is your pure! Bob, address your Bible! Nothing about makes it impure! Address your Bible! Water Bob. is pure! Bob. And Hello, nothing Bob. makes it impure! Let's talk about your Bible! So let me ask the hadith. Muslims! It's a weak hadith! Will you? No, it's, it's sahih! It's a weak hadith! Sorry. I'm telling you it's a weak hadith. My apologies. Hadith. It's Hassan. Let's talk about your Not Bible. Sorry. Let's talk Hassan. about your Bible. But yeah. Hassan, it's let's talk about your Bible. Bible. Bob, Hassan, Bob, Hassan, Bob, he's not weak. Did you find that in the Quran? Is there any Did you find that in the Quran? knows the category Bob. of a hadith. Bob, can you find that in the Quran? What is Sahih? Bob, Sahih, yeah. no. What is Sahih? Dress Mark 16. Muslims, authentic. why are you silent? Yeah. Bob, this is a basic question Bob, about Bob, your deen. What does Sahih mean? Using a oh, what does he mean? You know, hey, he Notice, Bob is a they coward. don't want to say Bob. what it means. <laughs> and the reason is why, why they are silent Bob is, is because a they know uh -huh. the moment they say that Sahi is reliable, blah, blah, Sahi address is your trustworthy, Bob, address that your I will embarrass them Bob, by the words of the prophet. That is why the Bible. You are scared of the word of God. What does Sahi mean? The word of God. What does Sahi mean? What the word of God. What does Sahi mean? Let's talk about the word of God. Listen what? to him, he's telling you this is not a hadith. Reliable. Bob, talk about the word of God. Bob, it's a reliable. Bob, what is reliable? What does Sahi mean? Bible from Islamic Bible here. What does Sahi mean? Bob, 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 are you going to trust your Bible? Are you going to go on? Bob, you know the hadith. No, no. let's finish this. What? Let's finish this. What? Right. What Mark argument do they have? There's no Mark need to push, brother. Mark's, Mark's no need to push. Me. So, push me, Bob. brother. Mark Sahi. 16. Sahi. Mark 16. Everybody say, Hello. Sahi. Sahi. Say it again. Sahi. 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 The later, yeah. the prophet Quran. said, say the Quran. If a house fly, Falls in the drink of any one of you. Oh. He should dip it into the drink Great and take it out. For one of its wings has a disease, and the other has the cure for the disease. That's the science of Muhammad. That's the science of Muhammad. You've been having a monologue for 10 minutes. You continue. Let us ask this question. Can we do better than Islam? Can we do better than these hadiths? Is this democracy? And the answer to that question is yes, we can. Yeah. We can, Bob. Bob yes. Can I have a word? Because Let him have a word. the Christian can I have a word, Bob? You. Yeah. Can I have a word, Bob? You've been shouting for ten minutes continuously. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for 10 minutes continuously. The only reason why you want me to be quiet now is because you don't have the lungs to keep shouting, and I do. So, in Christianity, you didn't want one for the last 20 minutes. You didn't want one for the last 20 minutes. So, we can do better than Islam. We can do better than this embarrassing false prophet from the 7th century. Within the Christian worldview, we have space for scientific knowledge. And we allow our doctrines and our moral systems to be informed by the best current knowledge of our time. But Muslims, we have heard in the park, defend drinking dirty water, defend drinking camel piss, defend drinking, having sex with nine-year-old child. And the reason why they do it is because their prophet did it first. In the Christian faith, how old was Mary when she married Joseph, who was 90? Developed. How old was Mary? Developed. 12 years old. In Hello, 90 years old. Against the 12 in Western year old Europe. Let's not go there, Bob. That and informs that our know. beliefs. And, and that there. is Bob. consistent with a Christian worldview. No, Bob. Since for the last 30 minutes, he has not wanted to defend his hadiths and not wanted to defend his prophet. I can only conclude that he is embarrassed by his prophet. He's embarrassed and I don't blame him. Mohammed is embarrassing. Uh, Mohammed is embarrassing. I'll get that bottle of water now. No, no. Can I have a word now? Jesus wouldn't shout. Right. In Mark, in Mark 16, he says, in Mark 16, if he has the Holy Spirit in him, he can speak. He can speak in burnt tongues and he can drink poison and survive. Now tell me, it's in your Bible. You quote it hadith, not from the Quran, but from the hadith. Hadith can be falsified. Like your like your gospels, like your like your 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 letters or whatever can be falsified, yeah? The hadith. No, you didn't quote that from the Quran. In your Bible it says on Mark 16 that you could drink poison and survive. Do you reject that verse in your Bible? Okay, so the question, ladies and gentlemen, and the statement is about a passage in Mark 16. I will address the question, but first I want to address a point that he made. He is so embarrassed by his Sahih Hadith that he wants to say to you, well, it's not in the Quran. But the fact of the matter is, Islam has never been just about the Quran. Muslims themselves will say, Islam is about the Hadith and the Quran together. And those Hadiths that are Sahih are trustworthy and reliable. But if a Sahih Hadith contradicts the Quran, it's not Sahih. But he wants to make excuses about this. I want to get off the topic. So let me deal with the Mark 16 passage. The Mark 16 passage within the Christian worldview is dubious, like a Daif Sahih is dubious. Now bearing in mind that my argument was not marshalled on Daif Hadith, but on Hadith that are Hassan 
and Sahi, the comparison is false. The comparison is false. We don't have that concept. We don't have that concept. The textual script. The textual script. He finished himself. Mark 16. He finished himself. Mark 16. That he is quoting is something that most Christians consider a textual variant and do not base their doctrines upon. Do you reject that verse? Yes. You reject the Bible. I reject the Bible. I reject the Bible. I reject the Bible. So tell me, this is the same man. If they fly along, they think they've won something. 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 They think they've won I took no, one passage Bob, no, 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 that I don't Bob, believe in. Bob, you took the Bible under the Bible. No, no, you did. No, no, one passage in the Bible. No, the whole Bible. One passage. 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 One you do not have the whole Bible. Bob, no, no, no. About Bob, his own hadith. One. If there's one, do you want to hear him answer the question? No, no, no. Do you want to hear him answer the question? Answer the question. Bob, you just described the answer the question. Answer the question. Answer. 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 Before Christmas, come on. Would you drink camel piss? Are you going to listen for my answer? I want to hear your answer about camel piss, yes. Right, hurry up, hurry up. Listen carefully, listen carefully. Yeah. If there's even one contradiction in a book, that book cannot be taken seriously. Is this about camel piss? Is this about camel piss? I'm not saying. Don't hold it up. 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 Don't hold no, I'm just they don't want me I'm to go finished. to their Quran. <laughs> can I finish? 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 Can right. Finish. Bob quoted hadith which can be altered and manipulated. I quoted the Bible, okay. his oh. own Bible, and he rejected a verse so in his Bible. He threw the Bible under the bus. That's it. Sahih. End it. Sahih. Sahih. Finish. Finish. Bible is not reliable. The hadith cannot be 100% reliable. But the Quran is reliable. reliable. The Quran is reliable. There's no. There's no. Contradiction. Oh. Well, in the Bible. Are you going to run away, Bob? Is Bob running away? I have finished Bob and the Bible is finished. Bob admitted he rejected Mark 16. It's the false document in the Bible. Did the Holy Ghost inspire you to write this false document and put it in the Bible? Come on, Christians, okay, answer for yourself. One, if there's one percent, one percent. Did anyone hear the answer to the question? No, 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 no what about because his argument doesn't deal with Christianity. Yeah. It deals with a fiction that Muslims think the Bible is Christianity. Says, the Bible says, but let's be clear before the sun. 
He said that a book that has contradictions can't be from Allah. That's what he said, and you all heard him say it. Bob, so let Bobby now. Bob is if there are any contradictions in the Quran, let's look at the contradiction in the Quran. Let's look at the contradictions of the Quran. Bye, no. finished. Now he's going on. Are you listening? This is Christian. Are you listening? This is Christianity. The Quran. Christianity. The supposed book that is free from contradiction <laughs> says Let's the go. following. Let's go, Bob. Surah 6. I will finish you again. Ayah, verse 103. No vision can grasp him, but his grasp is over all vision. He is above all comprehension, yet he is acquainted with all things. So the Quran has said, no vision can grasp Allah. No vision means none, zero, zip, nada, nothing. Nothing, yes. But the same book, by the same supposed all-knowing God also says this. Some faces that day will beam in brightness and beauty looking towards their Lord. So, can you see Allah or not? Because the Quran says both. Answer the question. Now, Bob. Answer the question. Bob, 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 why not go to your Bible? You say you're poetry throughout this entire debate. My interlocutor, who came to me originally wanting to talk about his hadith, has tried at every possible turn to ignore the complications in his own books. Bob. His own oh, books yeah. say Bob. that if can I have you a, eat can I have a word? at your dates, Bob, can I have a word? you have been shouting over me for 30 minutes. I think do not, tell you. do not now try to pretend you that you have lies? been quiet. Do you see how he lies? The camera, ladies and gentlemen, time, does lying. not lie. Yes. And you can see this yeah. video not just from the beginning on Bible. Soko Films. And his own video, which is, what's the name? 360 Degree Productions. 360 Degree Productions, and you will see that he consistently tried to talk over me. And now he's trying to play the victim because some of you are newcomers and were not here to witness his earlier behavior. But this man was here. Was he shouting over me the whole time? Did he come and talk to me wanting to talk about his hadith? Yes, he did. Thank you. So I have a witness. He is the liar. According to hadith science, can you trust a liar? He doesn't want to answer. He knows, he knows, he knows. He knows. He knows. Tell you why he doesn't want to answer. Why? Because according to our deep science, you can't trust a liar. And so since he lied, according to Muslim logic, he's not trustworthy. I haven't said anything. He's calling me a liar. What kind of person is this? Bob, you said you didn't answer. shout over can I, me. Can I speak out? Can deal I with the point. Can I yeah, deal with the point. I will point. answer it the way I want to answer it. Okay, so deal with the point in the Quran. Bob, I will answer your question the way I like. No, I will no, 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 no. Okay. Don't go to the Bible. Pay attention. Pay attention. He's going to explain the contradiction okay, in the Quran. Ah, okay, okay. That's right. what he's going to do. Ah, okay, okay. Go on. You have the floor. Now, Bob rejected Mark 16. That's the Quran. Do you want to hear him answer the question? Yeah! Answer the question, yeah! Answer the question I asked. 
Here again is the question. I'll repeat it. I'll repeat it because some of you didn't hear. Sora 106. Are you going to answer this question? Are you going to? Okay. He's going to answer the contradiction in the Quran. Okay, okay. Now, Bob. Bob, you threw your you threw your Bible under the bus. We we do not as Muslims not even one letter in the Quran reject it. You reject you rejected Mark 16. Answer the contradiction. I am going to it, Bob. I'm going to answer the contradiction. Do you want to hear an answer my question? Genesis, listen to the contradiction from the Quran. I'm answering it. Sora 6, answer. three. Notice how he doesn't want to hear the answer. No, coward. Vision, coward. Can trust him. Coward, coward. But he coward. For all vision. Coward. He coward. is above coward. all comprehension, coward. Coward. yet he is coward. acquainted <laughs> with all things. He doesn't want to understand why you No vision can trust him, the Quran says. But Sora 75, that's not the translation. That's not the translation, man. Some faces that day will beam in brightness and beauty looking towards their Lord. And the Quran, the Quran, the Quran says, no vision can grasp Allah. And then on the other, it says that Muslims will see their Lord. That is a contradiction. Answer the question. Muhammad Rasulullah. Are you going to let me get a question? Okay, I'm Listen carefully. Listen carefully. in answer to the question, who's a pagan? He said, Muhammad, the prophet of Allah. Perfect time. Right. Oh, who's the biggest? Come on, talk about contradictions. Scientific errors. Who's going to be joking? Genesis. On Genesis 11. Genesis 11. Genesis 11. On Genesis 11. 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 Gen Look at their behavior! Look at his behavior! Okay, this is the last statement I'm going to make because I can't deal with Bob. Right, he wants to talk about, he wants to talk about scientific errors. Talk about this, Bob. On, on Genesis 11, there's no crazy vegetation, right? But then on, 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 on chapter 14, no, you won't talk about no. I'm not gay. You're gay. I'm not gay. I won't fuck you. He's just offered to fuck you. Gay, yeah, don't gay. Gentlemen, I'm not gay. I don't want to be gay. You're gay, don't gay. I'm not gay. You're gay. Wow. You're gay. You're the one who said you wanted to fuck me. I wasn't aware of it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Notice the aggression yeah. Yeah. with which Christians are treating the corner. Yeah. But notice, notice the that aggression. Yes. Notice the because because that, that comes out is how. Yes. That's the kind of behaviour we have to deal with from the Dawah team. Yes. We can. Yes. We can. Genesis 11, <laughs> Bob, on Genesis 11, say, God no says bro. he created vegetation. He's not on 14, dealing on 14, with he says the, the contradiction in God the Quran. God says you don't without light. Photosynthesis. Amazing. Deal with that, Bob. No, I will deal with that, actually. Go for it. So, so tell me again the contradiction. The contradiction is that vegetation came before God created the sun. How do you deal with that, Bob? On That's not Genesis, true. He says on Genesis 11, Bob. On Genesis 11, he says God created vegetation. Genesis, no, it doesn't say 11. It doesn't say. I think you mean one, you mean. Uh, sorry, Genesis 1, chapter 11. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. He's in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. He's in trouble. Let him speak. Let him finish. Let him finish. He's Let him finish. in trouble and he doesn't even know it. Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, it right, says God Let's created vegetation. And then on chapter 14, he says God created the light. How can vegetation. Sorry, verse 14. How Thank can you. God create light? How can vegetation be Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he tried to pull out what he presented to you as a contradiction from Genesis, <laughs> saying that in Genesis, God creates vegetation before he creates light. I will simply refer the Taoist to Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Hmm. Sorry, we'll do it from... <laughs> uh, verse three. Verse 3. The joke's on him, folks. Verse 3. God says, Then God said, Let there be light! No contradiction. Why light is that? This is Christian Dawa. How do you feel? Why light is that? I'm getting it. Yeah, be like Christian Dawa. God plays two lights now. So, on 14, he says he creates a light. Then he plays light. Sun, moon, and star. What about 14? Right. So, let us. Because this, ladies and gentlemen, is why Genesis, whilst being essentially poetry, is nonetheless seeded with scientific knowledge far beyond its time. Let me explain. As the planetary dust cloud collapses through gravitational force to create the sun, it approaches temperatures unimaginable here on Earth. Millions of Kelvin. At such times, before it reaches the point of nuclear fission, sorry, fusion, it will emit red light. So light existed before the sun. Mm -hmm. Genesis is correct. Yeah. 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 On, yeah. on chapter 14, he says, let there be light. Do you know the of the sky? Correct. Yes, on Correct. the of the sky. I don't want Chapter 1 says, let there be light. Correct. What light are we talking about? So the second on it's the called red on the light. 14, it's on emitted the 14. with heat. Oh, yeah. And it is observable on the electromagnetic spectrum. Oh, yeah. 11, you, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, 14, right now light are emitting light. Mm. You are uh, all uh, emitting uh, Light. Contradiction. It's called Hello. red light, Contradiction. and you can detect it Hello. with a heat camera. Infrared. Yes. So as the sun approaches the point of nuclear fusion, it will emit red light. So Genesis is correct, yeah. not wrong. It's yes. wrong. Yes. Yes. It's wrong. I say done. You're <laughs> arguing against yeah. physics, friend. So, the desperate brother. Oh, then have you God. studied the physics? The Bible says, let there be light. Have you yeah, studied the physics? Correct. God no, separates the light physics. from he the darkness. Physics. Yeah, That's what the Bible says. God separates the light you know from physics? the darkness. Do you yeah? know physics? Now, Bob, you let's not go there, yeah? Bob, I studied physics at university. Have you? Bob. Hadouken. Ladies and gentlemen, I studied physics at university. This clown hasn't. <laughs> and when I tell you 
the, the dust cloud that became the sun emitted light before it entered into nuclear fusion. I'm telling you a fact. Genesis is correct. The brother is wrong. My friend, the Quran has bad science. It has bad science. It has bad science. Step in. Step into the room. It's correct. How does the vegetation grow without the light? I will explain. If you go, he says, how can vegetation appear before there is light? I will explain, as any biologist would explain to this ignorant man if he had studied anything above GCSE level. If you go down into the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean, there are vents connected to the magma of the earth that heats the water. And those vents are sufficient to sustain life. And that life is vegetable and bacterial. So once again, Genesis is correct and the brother is wrong. I'll have to look into that. You should look into it. But now I have shown to you the great science of Genesis. Let's look at the bad science of the Quran. Quran time this. Time. He's in trouble, he ladies and gentlemen. Why? Why? Well, why? Why? Yeah. Because he hasn't studied physics and neither did his prophet. <laughs> and his prophet is as ignorant as him. <laughs> and that is why we know that the Quran is not from God. No, not at all. So, let me ask you. Do you believe that the sun sets in a muddy puddle of water? Same old. Do you or don't you? Do you or don't you? You don't say it resides in a muddy puddle of water. It says it's saw the sun. Some, someone was travelling and saw the sun. Like the parts of Spain where the sun drops at a certain point, it looks like it's going over the water. That's what he was saying. So his argument is... He wasn't saying that... His argument is... I don't want to misrepresent your argument. His argument is the Quran does not say that the sun sets in a muddy puddle of water. What it says is that a man found a place where it appeared that the sun was setting in a muddy puddle of water. Let's read the Quran and see what it actually says. Explain. So, listen carefully. Surah 18, Ayah 86. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. So who represented the Quran accurately? Me or him? You decide. But it gets worse. Can I have a word in there? <laughs> You're calling me stupid? No, he didn't say that. That's not what the Quran says. No, no, you're stupid. Pay attention. We'll read it again. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. That's what it says. That's what it says. Yeah, help him, help him. Yeah, help him. No. Just confirm what you just said. It appears that it is residing in muddy water. Where does it say it appears? Where does it say the word appear? How to ask the permission from Allah? Maybe I missed it. Show me. Ask the permission from Allah. Show me. Show me. He's talking about the sun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a spring of murky water. Okay. Did anyone hear the word appear in no. that oh, Thank you! Where's the word appear? Setting. Oh, stupid one. Setting. Oh, stupid one. Setting. Where does it say appear? It says setting. Oh, there, man. <laughs> when the sun sets. When the sun sets. Does it yeah. 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 mean that I'm it's actually. When the sun sets from the east, does it mean that it's, it's actually coming from the east? Well, he's talking about the sun of fake news there, man. Who's he talking about? It sets in the Is that your answer? It sets in the vest. I already gave my answer it's, 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 in the beginning. Like when we say, ladies and gentlemen, that the sun sets in the east, what we are saying is that on a compass point, it sets in the east. What we are not saying is that there is a physical object called the east that it sets in. But the Quran is saying that there is a physical object, a spring of murky water, that the sun sets in. That's why it's a problem. No, it, it, Address it, it the problem. Saying, he was saying it's a place that looks like where the sun is setting into. Where, where does it say? It says, it okay, it looks, show me where it says look. It's a description. Show me where that's it says look. If you understand the whole thing, get into it. That's Ask what it's saying. Wait, wait. It's not saying looks. the actual sun is actually there. It's saying it, that's what the, the, the place looked like. Where, where does it say look? Where the man was traveling Notice, to. ladies and gentlemen, that the Muslim Dawah team member has to help his God out of a difficulty. Hey! He has to change the words of his book so that his book says something different from what it actually says. Because what it actually says is this. Until when he reached the setting of the sun, the I don't have a problem sun. with that bit, it's yeah. the next bit. Okay. He found it set in a spring of murky water. That is what it says. Not what he says. Unbelievable. Not what he says. He went to a place and he saw the sun appear that way. I don't know why we put developing idiots. They're deaf, dumb, and blind people. You're just giving them publicity, man. Sharp man. Keep on shining, idiot. Great example for your son there. Great example to your son. Great example to your son. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, okay, Bob, you brought one. what do we do with this evidence? What do we do with this evidence? Well, he has said that if his, book, on that subject, if his book has any contradictions in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is that. not from God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. I don't reject it. His book yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. I don't reject that his book. Contradicts itself. His book contradicts science by his logic. His book is not from God. And my invitation to all Muslims is follow the evidence. Leave Islam. Follow the evidence. Leave Islam. Come to something better. Love again at the Christian faith. Ignore the lies you hear in the masjid about what Christians believe. Because we believe in one God, not three like you have been told. Our message predates our book. It is not dependent on the book like you have been told. Okay, Bob, can I? Our message Bob. is based You're on the resurrection of Bob. the Christ. You're going on a broken record again. You need to look again because by your own standards, your book has failed and we Definitely. don't have Bob. those standards Bob. for our book. You need to judge our religion by what our religion teaches, not what your religion teaches about itself which when examined, as we can see, it fails. You need to come to something better. Can I say something now, Bob? Bob, can I give you an answer to that? Right? Now, Bob, that verse you quoted there for me, I am not an expert in that verse, but I don't reject it. I don't say it's a falsified document, like you said about your Bible. I don't reject a single, not even a letter from the Quran. You're quoting from a translation Quran, oh, yeah, which I can't take seriously. Yeah? No, Bob, Bob, but the thing is, the difference is, Bob, I did not reject that verse because I don't understand fully that verse. I need to go and study it. But you rejected Mark 16. 
There you go, Bob. That's the difference. I did not reject my Quran. You rejected your Bible. Bible under the bus. Finished. Bye bye, everybody. You see what happened. That's what's called running away, ladies and gentlemen. It's not running away. It's finished. It's finished. I did not reject the verse. He rejected. He rejected Mark. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen. He said that I rejected Mark. Now let us be clear about something. Let us be clear about something. In terms of the Christian faith, what I invite you to accept is the message that predates. Hello there, hello there. I try to challenge Bob. I try to challenge Bob. Let me just finish one point. Go on in. Don't take too long now. I'll be waiting. Don't go too far. All right. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, and particularly those Muslims who may be watching this or listening, I am not inviting you to accept a religion like your own. Your religion has failed the tests that you set for it. And we've examined it and explored why it has failed those tests. But my faith is something different. My faith is not rooted on a book. It is rooted upon the historical person of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies and the Messiah. I'll answer that, one second. That is the faith that I am inviting you to. It has a different set of criteria, and you must examine the Christian faith based upon its own merits, not based upon the failed standards of Islam because it is a different religion and demands a different examination. And many of you in your masjids have been given false information about the Christian faith. You've been told that we believe in three gods. That is a lie. You have been told that changes to our texts or crippling to our faith. That is a lie. You have been told that Jesus does not call himself divine. That is a lie. And you owe it to yourselves to examine the Christian faith on its own merits before you decide whether to accept or reject. Now, where's the guy that wanted to debate me? Oh, he's got there, he's got there. Shall we go find him? <laughs> <laughs>